Hello and welcome to another video. In this one, I want to talk about what gradual typing means for Python. And I want to talk about generally how I go about ap approaching adding types to a library um, and how I, I go through the gradual process. Uh, but anyway, let's jump into it. Okay, so we're going to start with some code that's going to be intentionally not type safe um, and just kind of show you how I would you know, start working with MyPy to make this code type safe. So let's make a function. Um, and I don't know, I would assign a variable and then do something that's definitely not type safe. So, you know, this this x is an integer. You can't add an integer to a string. This will always raise a type error. Uh, but maybe this code's dead. I don't know, something like that. And if we run MyPy on this, surely MyPy should tell us that you know, this is obviously wrong. So it should tell me there's a type error. Uh, but if we pip install MyPy and we run MyPy on this, it will actually not notice this error yet. And this is because MyPy attempts to give you a gradual approach to, approach to typing. Um, you can, of course, make it less gradual. And I'm going to show you some of the options that do that as well. So if we run MyPy on this, you'll see that it's going to say success, no issues found in this one source file, even though this is obviously not correct. Um, now, note that if we had made the same mistake at the module scope, MyPy will actually notice this. If you, uh, plus bar, and this is because MyPy by default uh, lints the module scope, but doesn't doesn't lint inside functions or classes by default. Um, you can of course change that. Uh, the way to make MyPy look inside functions is you either do one of two things. One is you type annotate the full signature of the function. So let's say if we had you know x int here, this is actually not the full signature, and so you'll see, uh, oh, but it is enough for MyPy to notice it. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, usually you need the full signature, so I'm not sure what changed there. <laughs> Something has changed there. Uh, so I'm slightly wrong here, but usually you need a full signature here and there are ways to enforce that. Maybe it's because it returns none. Let's see what happens if we do this. Does it still check this? It does. Interesting. Very interesting. Uh, but anyway, one, one way to tell MyPy to look at a function's body is to give it type annotations. Uh, the other is if you, you know, don't have anything here. Uh, you can run MyPy with the check untyped defs uh, option. And this is usually the um, the second thing that I do. So the first the first step that I do when I'm adding MyPy to a project is just run MyPy with no options on all of the files. Uh, whether or not there's type annotations present, just run MyPy on those. And that'll that'll fix your module scope, anything that's already annotated. Uh, or that'll it'll force you to change to fix your model scope anything that's already annotated um, Yeah, those two things those are the things that it'll fix next I flip on check untyped defs this way I don't need to necessarily write any annotations But it's going to start checking code that it can infer the types Automatically, so I don't need to write any type annotations up until this point except to fix cases that my pipe uh, Figures out so that's kind of the the second step that I do um, and I usually do that in my mypy.conf uh, mypy.cfg, my.any? I don't know. I usually do it in setup.cfg. <laughs> um, and I said check untyped defs equals true. That's kind of the first step that I do. And once I have that passing, so let's say that we actually did stir to fix this type error. Um, the next thing that I'll do is I will require every function to have a type signature. And this will improve MyPy's thoughts about all the types because it'll it'll take things that it just infers as any, and it'll know more of them because it will have your argument and return value signatures. And so the next option that I set, oh, we can get rid of this now because it's in my configuration. Uh, the next option that I will set up is uh, disallow, or what is it? <laughs> I forgot the name. Uh, MyPy options. I guess I can just look at one of my projects. I set it on all my projects. It's like disallow untyped defs. Disallow untyped defs. Yeah, so this is kind of the next option that I set. Disallow untyped defs. Untyped defs. And this will force any function that gets defined to have a full signature. And you'll see that, you know, this is error erroring and saying that I need a return value annotation. And again, if I had just done a partial uh, signature here, you'll see that it'll tell me that I'm missing a return type. So you need both the parameters and the return type in order for MyPy to 
um, be happy with that. And this, you know, this is kind of the, the next step there. There's a whole bunch of other options that you can add to MyPy that make it more and more strict, um, but these are just kind of the first several steps that I take in gradually typing in code base. Now, note, note that without check untyped defs and without type annotations, MyPy will ignore functions. Um, you can also make it ignore the module scope, but uh, I, I find it's usually easy enough to fix that. Uh, but yeah, that's generally how I approach gradual typing. Um, hopefully this was useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.